Thanks for tuning in. This is the life of the miner. And in this video, I'm going to go over the hash rates, overclocks and power draw mining Monero on the Radeon 7. So let's check this out. All right, so I'm going to share the results mining Monero on the Radeon 7. Now I do own the Radeon 7 by power color. Okay, so this is my test bench and my computer does idle around 49 watts. Now using XMR stacked on stock settings, I was averaging around 2,850 hashes per second and my whole test bench was consuming around 306 watts. So the GPU itself was only consuming around 257 watts. Now this is the best efficiency setting that I tested so far. So putting the core at 1,880 and the voltage at 1,057 and the memory at 1,200. I was able to get 3,010 hashes per second and my GPU itself was only consuming around 231 watts. Now testing out SRB Miner, I was averaging around 2,890 hashes per second. But I do want to mention that I did not actually do enough tweaking and tests. So I'm pretty sure I can get this as high as XMR stack. And for some final notes, I did have to disable HBCC memory. If I did enable it, I was only averaging around 1,900 to 2,000 hashes per second. And I do also want to mention that I was actually able to achieve as high as 3,600 to 3,700 hashes per second. But anything above 3,100 hashes per second, it was not stable. The system would crash after a minute or two. All right, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining Monero on the Radeon 7. Now I did hear that you can get a little bit of higher hash rates in having it stable by playing around with the power play tables. But I'm gonna go ahead and test some other algorithms. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Promise you'll catch me.